video that was made four years ago at a Trump rally, and she goes, and she's, there's Trump agitators, anti-Trump agitators on one side of the road, and the other side of the road is a line to go into a Trump rally in Cincinnati, Ohio. And again, this was four years ago. But I guess the relevance of this is nothing has changed. It's the same spew. It's the same getting us pitted against each other, this race baiting, identity politics. I think the thing that we've seen more, though, within the from then to now is the woke agenda has just come boom like a bomb on America and our children. But this is, I found this interesting. What you're about to see is raw and unscripted. Viewer discretion is advised. It's been very hard to have a conversation out here with you. I can stand wherever the fuck I want, little fucking Nazi bitch. An Infowars bitch. Yeah, no one can hear what you're saying. You can, bitch. That's who I'm talking to. Do you mind? Can I grab your pussy? Damn, right out the gate. It's pretty hostile. Right out the gate. Now she promotes Infowars. I don't know I don't know much about this 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 young lady who did this video, but she did a great job. Millennia and Millennia, uh say say that. Um she kinda she kinda looks like a Michelle Gregor, like her like could be Michelle's sister. Uh you know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, kind of, she kind of looks like her, but she's did a fabulous job in this video. But um, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal right at, right out the gate. Now, again, I don't. Uh, I never watched much of Info, Info Wars. I know about Alex Jones and you know a lot of the things he says, a lot of the conspiracy theories. But some of the stuff he's real conservative. Um, he claims he's a Christian. He believes Jesus Christ died and saved us from our sins. Um, I seen him on something about a week ago. And he was claiming that, which is, that's great. He, he's cl claiming that. But a lot of people equate him with radical right-wing, you know, propaganda. And, you know, maybe there is some lividity to that. We all know about the court trial case he went through and lost by claiming that it was just a fraud, that those children were killed, and the parents were just really upset about it. So I think these people are reacting to that by calling her an infowar you know, calling her ugly names and saying things. But it's her channel. It's her channel. I mean, this this is um this is her YouTube channel. It's not Alex Jones's YouTube channel, so we should never make assumptions. But she is walking around with InfoWars on her microphone, so yes, they're assuming. Wouldn't it be great if the liberals act Because they never have substance. They always attack and smear. And I'm telling you, the left have been brilliant at it. Because they, they've been able to bring in the young people. And it's not like, okay, guys, they get a committee down. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna go rally, we're gonna go protest, and we're gonna say, hey, these are our policies. And then step by step, PowerPoint, what what are we what are we for for the Biden Harris administration? What are we for? Well, what they're showing they're for is divisiveness. You're just a bitch. You you're just with InfoWars. We don't want to hear you. We're, you know, this race baiting. It's insane. There's no substance. It's just attack, attack, attack. What if you believed a lie? 
that the President of the United States and your fellow Americans were racist, homophobic, fascists with a Nazi agenda. They're full of hate, they're angry, and they're crazy. There's not one person that said a cuss word from over there. We've been standing here the whole time. Everyone is saying four more years and uh, that we're hopeful for the future. These people are screaming horrible things. I don't know what they're thinking. What if what you heard on the news is a lie? Do you believe President Trump? Obviously, the Trump supporters know it's BS, but it's the young people. Look at the people that were in that crowd. There are some older folks, but there was a lot of young people that voted for Biden and, and Harris four years ago. And they're spewing this propaganda. They just jumped on that bandwagon without, without doing their own research. I should always promote, go think for yourself. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, think for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Don't take anybody else's word for it. Go, okay, I need to go find out the facts and go figure it out. Go find out. Don't just take somebody's word for it at face value. Is a racist? Yeah, yeah. No question. Do you think Donald Trump is racist? I do. President Trump's racism. He is an open, avowed racist. And the president. Now, we all know the Democrats' talking points. When one of them says Trump's a racist, you could go to every network, every network, and every one of them, send, somebody sends out an email. <laughs> he goes, okay, PMS, NBC, CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS, all of you. Here, the 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 cry call out is everybody say get on get on get on your news channels and say Donald Trump's a racist. Every one of them. Every one of them have the same talking points. It's like what? Do y'all not have your own staff to figure out what you're going to cover? No, y'all have this agenda platform, and it's so blatantly obvious. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. No matter what channel you had clicked on, they were all saying the same thing. All saying the same thing. President is cynically using that racism to appeal to his base. Oh, and y'all know what the talking points were a few days ago, and I guess I don't even. I think they're still using it because the um, her new VP, Harrison's new VP guy, was saying weird. So now it's all to say everything's weird. Trump is weird. JD's weird. Trump supporters are weird. It's like every one of them were saying the same damn thing. It's like people wake up. Look for yourself. Look at their talking points. Look at it. They're all saying everybody's weird. They were all saying it the other day for a couple of days. They're just weird. They're just weird. Trump's weird. So he's so weird, but why don't you just say, hey, this is what we're, this is our position. This is what we want for the country. No, 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 no. And, and the liberals are good at it. They're good at personal attacks. It seems like that's what, is that what people want? Is that what the young people want? Or do they want some substance, some meat, something to grab onto? What am I doing here? What am I voting for? Oh no, Donald Trump's a racist and he's weird. But keep in mind, guys, this was four years ago. And these are the talking points they were using there. It's, it's insane. President Trump is the leader of the United States. He is also a liar. In fact, one of the most divisive acts of deception in our nation's history. You might hear someone in the Third Reich describe uh, a given people based on their characteristic. Well, now, as Commander-in-Chief, he misleads the public constantly. They should be embarrassed. They, they zoomed in on his face when he said that. He, he just misleads the people. It wasn't misleading when I went to the grocery store when Trump was uh, in office and I wasn't spending 50 more percent of my bu m food budget to buy groceries. The groceries are through the roof. How is that a lie? That's not a lie. That's fact. That is fact. They should be embarrassed. You should be ashamed. We're not white supremacists. Uh, I'm not a white These supremacist. These people are not. I'm not a white supremacist and he's gay. 
And he, then how can you support Trump? He doesn't support any of that. Absolutely. I You're guess insane. I'm, I guess I'm a slug that likes salt. <laughs> a tree that likes a chainsaw. Can you have a, do you have a hard time imagining anyone would like Trump? I used to be one of these people. I was a devout Democrat. I wanted to take you over here with me to the Trump supporter side. And so you can experience what's over here on the Trump supporter side. And maybe you can show me if there is racism over here that I should be concerned about. Okay. And here we go. So she finds this guy and she's going to take him over there. Now, keep in mind, he's a Democrat. He's fairly liberal, seems. Uh, we'll see. Because most Democrats seem to be liberal. They're all liberal now. They're all like super liberal. Not liberal used to be a good thing. It wasn't bad. But now the, the left, the far left liberal loons have taken over the party with this woke crap. Hey, to represent the black man in this situation. What are on the people's minds on the Trump line? What are on their minds? That's what I am trying to figure out. All right, let's go find out. How would you react? Anger, emotional outbursts, panic, violence, fear? Would you have the courage to seek the truth for yourself? So I decided I was going to challenge some of these protesters to see if they would walk with me to the MAGA side. Yeah, someone said your future wife's over there. Okay. To judge for themselves as to whether or not Trump supporters are as racist, bigoted, xenophobic, and as hateful as the mainstream media says. And they're not. So the mainstream media can come out in those clips we just watched and say, well, <sighs> Trump's a Nazi. He's racist. He hates women. I mean, all of this stupid, ridiculous accusations. But you know what? It's the, it's the liberal media's playbook. They know that in Nazi Germany... Even even their even Hitler's people like you tell him they told him if we say it enough we tell them a lie enough you keep saying it and saying it and saying it, it becomes the truth so they so the media has the media is such hypocrites the hypocrisy knows no bounds so they took the playbook reversed it and said, okay, Trump's the racist, Trump's the liar, but yet at the same time, they're calling him Hitler. They're calling him the racist. They're calling him all of this stuff. And they're not reporting, they're not going and reporting. Did any of them go to Trump rallies and talk to people? Did they see that these hundreds of thousands of people to go to Trump rallies are, are calm, average American citizens? Just want, just want a fair share at the American dream? What do you always see the most, even today? The, these people who are for uh, the Democrat Party. It's full of spew and hate. But yet they turn around and say, well, it's, it's the Republicans are spew and hate. It's like it's a revert, like, we're not going to let them know what we really are, but let's just keep saying that they are, and if we say it enough, it becomes the truth. And that's a fact, Jack. You've seen myself and many others interacting with liberals time and time again. We get hatred, aggression, and name-calling. Let's show it. Come on, let's show the hate. These are the hateful people that they're chanting about. They're not yelling back. They're not cursing them out. They're not. While the Trump supporters stand in line patiently hoping to get into Trump's rallies, liberals tend to stand off to the side or across the street yelling, screaming, and heckling their protest chants from across the way. I wonder how many of them were paid. Remember when all those riots were going on? Um, I don't know, there's been several of them. Um, what was it brown was it brown and then they were burning down those cities and then when they were arresting those people uh for you know vandalism and this kind of stuff most of them were for from out of state because who the hell is going to burn their own community 
right? Who's going to burn their own communities? These people were bust in to protest Brown, that, that teenage boy that got shot by the, the police. Yeah, it was a terrible thing, obviously. Nobody's disputing that it wasn't. But why would why would the black people in that, in that particular community go and burn down their own businesses? They weren't. There were people bust in. You don't hear about that, do you? From the from the liberal media. They didn't tell you that. Like, oh my God, they bust these people in from other states and paid them to do this. I think if we were better at it, somebody, something, needs to stop this. Now, my point is, how many of these people were paid by the Democrat Party, George Soros, to come and do this? I wouldn't be surprised if most of them were paid. Over here, I see people screaming and yelling, right? So, Over here, I see people standing quietly and just watching these people scream and yell. See, the issue is, though, and this is the only difference between these two groups of people, is that that side has somewhere, they, they're going into, a tr going into a rally, right? Well, a lot of harassment on the Antifa side, which I think some of these people are probably affiliated with. Um, Do you think that this, though, you see how it feels to be like being yelled at? These people are being yelled at. Does this make, does this make you think that these people doing this is going to change their mind? Absolutely not. This is just hate. This is fueling fire to their fire. Hey, InfoWars, I watch you guys all the time. What do you think about all this, this hate over here? I think it's just, like, unnecessary. I feel like people just need to, like, actually, like, think about things, like, instead of just sitting here. Like, You're a fucking hey. immigrant. Oh my God! Now keep in mind, the left say they are a party of tolerance. They care. They care about you. They care about everybody. But oh no! Somebody yelled out, he's a, a blanking immigrant! But no, we want the borders open. But you're gonna... <laughs> You're gonna, you want the borders open, but then you, then you turn around and, you know, say some kind of racial slur, calling him an immigrant. This guy sounds like he's a full-fledged American. He has no accent whatsoever. My dad, Did you hear what this guy hey, just said? My dad's said? an immigrant, and he's my dad's here. My dad is here illegally. He came from Vietnam. That's fantastic. Then you're you. you it's okay. Pe people are allowed to be here legally. Right? No, yeah, I am a descendant of an immigrant, but he's not illegal. They think the Democrat Party owns all ethnic minorities. Actually, initially, the Republican Party was actually the one that was um, for like everybody to be equal. So. Yeah, but they don't know that. Bam. I think uh, his father, who immigrated to this country, did a fine job raising his son to think for himself and educate him. I know, and it's kind of sad that people think that nowadays. Do you think that it's okay to grab call, a woman by the pussy? I didn't call women bitches, I called you an Infowars bitch. Damn. Can I grab your pussy? Can I grab your pussy? Huh? Will you be okay with that? You touched me. I have to be Trump. You touched me and the... What does that have to do with protesting him saying that to her? All right, you liberals out there. Do you, do you want them representing you and your platform? I guarantee you, if I saw supposedly conservatives acting crazy, I would denounce it in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, acting like a fool, saying foolish things that has nothing to do with policy. I would be outraged. And I think most conservatives would. They would be completely outraged. Uh, somebody talking like that to her, to that young woman. That's so disrespectful to her and to women in general, saying saying those things to her. He doesn't even know her. And it, it wouldn't even matter if he knew her. He shouldn't be talking like that. Police are going to arrest you, sir. Rarely ever did I see liberals walking up to the Trump supporters and asking questions, let alone deciding to actually go into Trump's rallies and hear him for themselves. 
this time, I wanted to see if I could get something different. Will you come with me over there and we'll, we'll go talk to the Trump supporters? <laughs> now, here's the thing. I know uh, he had to totally think about that. Oh, this is a fucking trap. I know it it's is. A it's not a trap. It's not a trap. I know what you, what's gonna happen? Oi, 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 oi. It's a I know this is a trap. What do you think about the message that these? That is just absolutely ridiculous. How is it a trap? I think he's afraid because he knows what he probably, this guy probably knows. Maybe I'm just speculating. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he knows that because he can clearly see the people on the other side ain't acting a fool, hollering sh racial slurs at the uh, Biden-Harris people protesting. They're the ones screaming stuff and nasty, horrible things at the, at the Trump people in line going to the rally. Like, they're all calm and cool, and there's way more of them, of the Trump people, way more. When you see, you'll see the people on the other side all in line. It's massive, and y'all know Trump rallies were, were massive. <clears throat> These people here, it, it, it looked like maybe there was about 100 of them, maybe more. I don't know. I'm just speculating on, on when she panned out and saw this. So... <laughs> Obviously, the Trump people could totally outnumber them and shouting them down, but they're choosing not to, obviously, because they're not community agitators. Protesters are sending the Trump supporters. Well, first of all, I, they demonstrate us. Then I met Marcos, who took me up on the challenge. I don't think hate is a part of democracy, meaning the other side. I we got a ticket. Marcos believes the hate is coming from the right, the Trump side of the road, just like most liberals and Democrats. I have a ticket to go in. Oh, in the Trump event? Yes. Okay. But I want to go in to be able to. Look, let's be real. The higher ups, the people who are campaigning, that were campaigning, obviously for Biden and Harris, because this was four years ago, and even, even now. They know. They know it's all bullshit. They're spewing the propaganda for an agenda, for a reason to spread lies and hate, make us decisive. They can swoop in and say, we're going to try to fix everything when they're the ones breaking it. Guys, you could check every city in America that's run by Democrats and have been for decades are dumpster fires. Go look it up. Look up Chicago, Philadelphia, California, cities in California, Oakland, San Francisco, Los Angeles. It is a cesspool of drug-addicted homeless people because of the policies. Crime is through the roof on all these cities I just mentioned. Who's running these cities? Who's been running these cities? It's been Democrats. That is a fact. That is not something that's just made up to spew propaganda. Propaganda is propaganda. Facts are facts. It's a provable point. Okay. From a from a, a strong black man perspective. Marcos believes Trump and his supporters are racist, that when they say, let's make America great again, they really mean, let's make America white again. I'm an American <laughs> citizen. Why are you so stupid? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And no politician on the planet would say, well, in America, rather, would say something so ridiculous or promote something so ridiculous because they would never get elected. This is a lie propaganda by the left. The far left has taken over the Democrat Party, people. You've got to understand that this is not a good thing. Do you want the whole country to look like San Francisco? to look like Chicago, to look like Philadelphia. Do you want the whole entire country to do that? You know what Rush Limbaugh used to say? He'd say once they were in there, destroyed the city with policies, then then they pack up and move to another city and spew their liberal crap and try to make changes in, in, in the uh, 
from mayor to the school council, all this crap. Yeah, man, that's what they do. That's what they do. But you've got some cities, especially like the state of Florida. I can use that as an example because it's a damn good one. They're not putting up with it. They're like, no, we're not, we're not bowing down to this liberal woke crap. We're not going to run our cities into the ground. And that, and that other people, such as the Trump people, you know, they they just don't want to see. Hey, can you just go all the way back to 1619? He also believed that if he went inside the Trump rally, he would witness true racism firsthand. A clever little gotcha move that the left would love to see. Instead, what ends up happening is truly amazing. They represent whatever they represent. I'm representing the black man. So I wanted, right I wanted to take you over here with me to the Trump support. I mean, I don't know this guy. But it, it does cause me to think, why would I say I'm white, obviously. Why would I say that I, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm representing the white people? I am not representing white people. I, I would just say I'm just representing my opinions on policies or whatever the case may be. I could not say that I'm representing a whole race because we come from all walks, white people. And I'm sure, I, I would assume, and I'm sure the black people think the same thing, that he can't speak for all black people. He just can't. I can't speak for all white people. We all think different. We have different families. We have different backgrounds, different the way we were raised. Some of us are liberals. Some of us are Republicans. Some of us are Christians. Some of us are atheists. I mean, how could I speak for the whole entire white race? That's, I think that's absurd. Not well, just, just made a, a factual point, but he seems like a nice guy, but I'm just saying, how can he... I mean, if there's any black people that are watching this, I mean, do you think he's speaking for the black race? Could Kamala Harris literally say, I'm speaking for the black race? Obama, I didn't think, should ever say he's speaking for the black race. He's half white. And that wouldn't even matter. He should be speaking for the people of America. Not just one particular thing that, oh, if, if somebody certain somebody gets elected, they're just going to help this portion. That is an absurd and ridiculous way to look at it. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. We all have to feed our kids. We all have to put gas in the car. What the hell? Supporter side, and so you can experience what's over here on the Trump supporter side, and maybe you can show me if there is racism over here that I should be concerned about. I literally have a ticket, though. Like yeah. I explained to you, I have a ticket. Okay. Right. But me seeing no blacks over there, that that confuses me. What are on the people's minds on the Trump line? What are on their minds? That's what I am trying to figure out. All right, let's go find out. Future wife, right there. Future wife. Let's go find out. Yeah, someone said your future wife's over there. Okay. And keep in mind, guys, this was, this was four years ago, but I don't think nothing's changed with, with the propaganda. Marcos also expressed fear that his safety would be in jeopardy if he went inside the Trump rally. I, I have a ticket for this event. I do. Will I be safe in there? Will I be safe? He wants to know if he's going to be safe inside there if he goes. Yeah, come on in. You go with us. You, you Come on. Come on. You go right here with us. You break a line. Come on, man. I, I put my arm around you, man. It's all about love, man. I love all my people. I love all my people. That's, that, that's a good thing. I love my I love all people. Come on, man. We love you, man. Come on with us. Man, he's going to break a line and nobody behind him going, hey, man. You need to get to the back of the line. I've been standing here for three hours waiting to get in the Trump. I didn't hear nobody go, oh, oh you can't do that. <laughs> they love you. Come on, let's go down some more. Why, why do you guys support Trump? Because I believe in freedom of speech. That's right. That's and in the Second Amendment, he's doing what's best for the country. Legalize immigration. Legalize immigration, not illegal. Right? What's wrong with that? 
Okay, so the, the, those of us that have to come here legally, we pay a price for that, and and and, and so people so, jumping over the border, people get so mad. We, people get mad when people jump over the border at at Disneyland. Okay, so hold on. Tell We're me. talking some, so about something. So back in 1619, 1619, storm the gates of Disneyland, Disney World. Team. Let me tell you something. You can't be thinking in the past, brother. What do you mean you can't be thinking no, in the past? You, you can't. You do things in the past to get to the future, bro. I, I know, but in order to move forward, man, you can triple. You keep on looking back. I save money in the past to buy a car in the future. Come if on. If you keep on looking back, you're going to keep on tripping, on, brother. Yeah, yeah. You got to figure out where it started, man. Oh, I know where it started, man, but it's about where we're going. Okay. Go, go to the, the vacant store and then the Burgess house. Go you keep on looking back, you're going to trip, man. No. You, 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 can't, you can't have that victim mentality, brother. You can't have to do that. That. man we got to move forward that's a good point don't have the victim mentality uh i don't know if y'all remember seeing a clip of morgan freeman being interviewed was it 60 minutes i could be wrong whatever but he would he was interviewed a few years back and they were asking him about uh black february being black history month and he's saying he basically saying we shouldn't have that and they're like well what why you know, because of racism and all that. He says, do you have a white history month? Do we have a, a Jewish history month? Do we have this? And, and, and then it, basically he's saying when the guy was asking him, well, uh, you know, asking him questions about racism and things like that. he said, well, we just need to stop talking about it. Y'all can Google it. Morgan Freeman said that. He said, just stop talking about it. And I agree. Because all it is is race baiting. We need to move on. We're a country. We need to be united. If we were invaded, we'd be like, oh no. <laughs> the blacks over there, whites over here, Irish over there. No, we're going to unite and fight together. Now, I know y'all are going to bring up World War II where they had different platoons and stuff like that. That's in the past. This is the future. You got black people on uh, special ops teams, Navy SEAL, all of this stuff. High-ranking positions in the military. It's not like the past anymore. This is the future. We, are go we would stand together and be united to fight against a common enemy that is attacking us from outside. It's not going to be none of this stupid-ass race-baiting crap. Morgan Freeman was dead on when he said, we just need to stop talking about it. Because you stop talking about it, there's no racism. You, who keeps bringing it up that there's racism, racism, racism? And just like that guy just said, he goes, you got to stop being a victim. It was spot on. That's history, boss. We got to this point. History. They, it's history, man. It's history, brother. He wants to know. Is he going to be safe if he comes in with you guys? Because he doesn't know. He's if I come in with my For team. sure, yeah, you'll be good. Of course. Uh, yeah, come with us. You'll be good. Are you in the front? See, you're not We've got tickets. You, 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 you can come in with us. Can you tell us why you support Trump? Because he puts America first, which is what a president should do. So let me tell you that term, America first. Yeah. Let's go back to 1924, the Democratic National Convention, right? Yeah. All Ku Klux Klan. Guess what their sign said? America first. The, the first coin of the Ku Klux Klan, one side, one side of the coin said, That's the, this is the truth. Was America first invented by the Ku Klux Klan? Good question. Inquiring minds want to know. Even Snopes dispels that rumor. Just because some random white supremacist out there might have said America first, you get this rumor perpetuated by leftist media outlets that the Ku Klux Klan was originally using America first and that they invented it. The white supremacist group made frequent use of the slogan more recently embraced by President Donald Trump, though they did not, as some claim, invent it. But see, these... Because the media is great at spewing propaganda and then making it seem that it's true without people doing proper research. People, Make America the, the racism is so I, I, far from their mind I understand. that they don't even, no, that doesn't register. That. That's not true. Go ask him. Go ask him. That's not true. Let's tell okay, he wants to tell you. What does Make America Great Again mean to you? What does it mean to me? It means that uh, we have opportunities. Donald, Donald Trump has done a lot specifically for me because uh, 
with like jobs and stuff like that. And I invest in the stock market and stuff like that, and I, I, I made a ton of money. So you see all these people over here and stuff like talking bad about them, but they don't understand. That's what it is. Well, it's not that they talk How many Trump rallies have you been to? Right, right. You said it's what? their First Amendment right. It is the First Amendment right. Donald Trump but talk about everybody. He, he talks about everybody. He calls people names. Uh, it's just horrible. He cusses people out. Okay, what's wrong with uh, that? He, it's, no. Hold on. Have you, have you read the Constitution? You what you want to have. It's okay. a freedom of speech. Okay, so why can't he say what he want to say? That's what I'm saying. But Donald Trump cussed people out. Donald Trump's a racist. Donald Trump's weird. Donald Trump's a white supremacist. Where'd all this come from? It come from the media. Trump's a liar. Trump's a Nazi. Like I said, they they shoot out their talking points, and it went to it goes to they got they got a uh, email with everybody on it. They just click boop. <laughs> it goes to all of them at the same time. All right, this week every day you're gonna say Trump's a liar. He's weird. He's a Nazi. And they all say it. You see, look at those you know, people. You comparing the people. We're here in, we're here in America, America, and we can say whatever the fuck we want to say. That's, That's what true. I think. That's you guys think it is, all right? Yeah. Yeah. to the people. That's all I can say. Yeah. Hold on. I'm trying to figure who I'm going to use my okay. ticket with. I'm going in with somebody. Why do you guys support Trump? I like his realism. No fakeness. No fake. Just tell us how it is. Tell us how it is. Tell us how it is. So he wants to know if he goes in there, if he's going to be safe and welcome. I will welcome you with open arms. That's her. We're all one people, right? That's what we'll say. But do the rules, do the rules apply the same? Absolutely. Have the of course they do. I'm still like... Why do people still think the rule the rules apply to a certain segment of the population and not to others? I mean, everybody, you go, oh, well, there's more this or there's more that. We're all people. I'll tell you what, most of the majority of people are just getting through life, going to work every day, trying to get the money to buy groceries, put gas in the car. Get, they're going to want their kids to have a good education. Who had a kid and say, well, I, I just want them to be dumb and woke? Ain't nobody said that. Nobody said that. I want them to be dumb. I don't really want them. I, we need to change history. We need to just slander all the forefathers. Just boom. We need to wipe it out. Because that's what they want to do. They want to wipe it out and transform the face of America. The rules apply the same? Well, some people try to keep it segregated, but we're not going to allow that to happen. But it's part of the laws. It's part of the rules. We're going to be one people. What it's part law? of the rules. What it's rule? started off that way, and it's got to still continue. We're going to make the way. necessary changes, and it is, it is a, everyone's got it. Best. Let's we, all be one people. Well, we've been saying that, and what happened to him? He dead. He was non-violent, and he still died. They said Malcolm was about violent, and he, they both in the same place. And they a lot of those Democrats place. were, a lot of the people that were part of the KKK were Democrats back then. So I agree with that. Changed. He agrees with that. Who do you think started it? Was the Democrats. I agree with that. Time so we got a dilemma here, don't we? Yeah. So let's talk to, let's right. talk to more people. You guys are almost changing me around. Hold on, a few more, I might change my mind. Yeah. <laughs> huh? If I can get in there safe and get out safe, guess what? I, 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 I'll become a Trump supporter. When I went to the Trump rally down in uh, Florida, yes. there was more Cubans there than there were white people. Okay. So and, it's not all the same in every city. It's just based on demographics. And I'm well, sure these people would be happy. Every time when you look on TV, you mean to tell me you don't see all white people behind them now? Come on now. We haven't at the Trump rally. Yeah. Well, I, Do they you want. See, is, it, is it a representation of America the way it is? It's because they want more people of color to join them. How well, to answer that question is, yes, white still at the moment make up the majority of the population. Then it's blacks and it's Hispanics. But guess what, people? Guess what, black community in America? 
the Mexicans are going to outnumber us all. And you, the black community, will be at the bottom. We keep aborting our children. White people are aborting their children. And the reason why the Hispanics are going to outnumber us is because they don't abort their children. Americans do. Because of the Democrat Party. Spewing the crap down our children's throats. Telling young girls, you don't, what do you mean? The patriarchy, you, you don't want to be stuck in the kitchen and having a bunch of kids. It's disgusting. People, yes, you should choose and have the right to do what you want if you want to have children or have a career. Yeah, choose. But don't be told. Or go abort your kid. It's disgusting. I'm upset about it. We should all be upset about this. It makes me angry. But the mainstream media, that when you the media tells everyone that listens that Trump is racist, and these people are watching Fox News, all these other ones. It's like he's not racist, so they're watching the left media that says he's racist, and so that's why you. It I don't like watching Fox News all the time. I mean, yeah, I clip some articles from them and stuff like that, but man, they drive me crazy too. It's like every female journalist they have on there has like. What, they're all clone Barbie dolls. <laughs> I mean, it's like, come on. Let's have some... I don't know. I, I, I think they lean, they lean too, maybe too far right, but... I don't know. I have a problem with all of them. I have a problem with all of them. And YouTube is just phenomenal because you can get... Voices from everywhere, all over the planet, on YouTube. And people's opinions. Their commentary. YouTube is amazing. It's amazing. Turns but, off a lot so of people of color. My, uh, some of the things I've heard... Uh, I, 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 some of the things you've heard are not true. And the okay. only way you can figure it out for yourself is to actually come and talk to the people themselves. Okay. Let's, Let's do talk. it. Come Let's on. Let's talk. I support Trump because he supports American values. American values? He supports and American, American values. values. American so let me values. tell you what American values listen, are. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm an immigrant to this country, right? Okay. I got. I came here through a process, okay. right? Through a process, right? Everybody that comes to this country should go through a process. So the settlers that came back here in 16 1619. Oh, God, 1619. Get out of here. Well, you have to start somewhere. Oh, my God, 1619. You know, I used to work um, at a convention center years ago, and I worked at the hotel and banquets and stuff. Um, there was an older black woman that worked with us. She was like... Um, Gosh, she was in her 60s back then. And um, I had great conversations with her, by the way. You could imagine. Um, because I was kind of the minority at first there. Um, especially at the convention center, there was more uh, black waiters and stuff, uh, bartenders and things like that there, which was fine. I didn't care. I, I needed the money. I needed the tips. If I was going to go 10 bar that night or whatever it is I was going to do, they had me sign me somewhere to do. But anyway, I was having a conversation with her one day. Somebody brought up, obviously they're bringing up slavery and this kind of stuff. She said, honey, and keep in mind, this was over 20 years ago. When she said, I think she's done passed away now. Because, like I said, she was in her 60s. I mean, she could still be alive. She'd be in her 80s. Um, I've, I've lost contact over the years because I moved and things like that. But um, she said, honey, black people should be thankful and thanking God. I'm just looking at her like, because I'd never heard nobody speak like this before. She said, they should be thanking God that we were slaves and brought over because now we have a better life. Which... They're, you know, they're the product of the slaves who are now the blacks in the country now is basically what she's referring to. She says, look at Af look at the continent of Africa. She said, it's terrible. Who who would want to go back and live there when, when they have an abundance here in America? 
But if it wasn't for the slavery, now, look, this is what she said. This is not what I said. Now, yeah, it's I'm repeating what she said. And I never forgot it. Like I said, this is 20, 25 years ago. She said this, and I thought, I have never heard a, a black woman or a person say such a thing. And it got me thinking, well, there's always cause and effect. Whether the cause was horrible, and it was, it was horrible, all right? I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. that. I mean, there's no way. Uh, it was bad. It was bad. And that's a whole nother video on that. And, and I'm not black, so there, it would be no reason for me to do that because, you know, black people want to hear other black people talk about it. And I understand it. I understand. But she said that. She said they need to be thanking God for their ancestors to have been brought over here. And then now they're here in this beautiful United States that they're free. They can do what they want. They can have a career, they can be jobs, they can get, be a doctor, lawyer, president, they can be anything. And it was all because they were brought here. That's what she said. I'm just telling you. 2020, there's a new process. So why was Donald Trump in Virginia the other day celebrating? Well, we gotta get, we gotta get celebrating 400 years ago. What about my people? What about my ancestors? What about all of that? Come on now. But what about today and what we can do moving forward? I see these people, I the think The only are, way to move they're, forward, they're a bank robber, forward, see? a bank robber don't get to keep the money if he get caught. It's okay to go it's back a, in history and say, oh, these people murdered these people. I think it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. So it's sad, but I think at the same time, America is the greatest country. We have the right to free speech. We have free speech. We have the right to self-defense, to protect Okay. ourselves. Okay. We have the right to not be um, given unwarranted searches and seizures. I mean, we have that's, great that's, rights. That's if you have a whiteness about you. No. If you have a blackness, you don't get to enjoy it. I have been through it, man. I was just down in St. Louis at the Ferguson thing. I had a microphone. The damn police came up and started beating me up for nothing. I got a microphone. Did somebody film it? I mean, this guy is claiming he got beat up by the police for having a microphone and, and doing free speech. I, I don't know, guys. I, I just don't know. We're not saying that, you know, it's not an issue with black people and it is an issue with black people being mistreated. What we're saying is, is that the, the policies and the, the ideas that this group of people have here is they're trying to move forward. They're trying to make America the greatest it can be. They want jobs. They want economic growth. They want okay. unity. It's Let's talk always, to some more of these okay. people because they're going to be right. they're going to be able to. Why are we hearing more talk about what we know the mainstream media is not going to do it? Blacks killing blacks. Chicago. We all know. What is it? Uh, the weekend of 4th of July? It's unbelievable. But it's it's victimization that the, the left-wing propaganda machine is like evil geniuses. Let's just keep telling them it's white people's fault that uh, uh, more blacks are incarcerated. They should be incarcerated if they're committing crimes. I don't care who you are. There should be no debate about that. So is that why California goes, well, we're just not going to, um, well, if they only steal a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand, we're just, just going to let it go. Just let them go. Slap them on the wrist. It's okay. It's okay. Cause they need it. Cause they're black. It's ridiculous. And I think they, I think a lot of them have had enough of it. I think a lot of them have had enough of it. Boston. New York. I know y'all have seen videos of people in New York just uprising, pissed off about the immigrants being poured in, taking the resources from the black community. I see more blacks raising hell about it than I've seen the whites. And they should be mad. That's good. I'm glad they're getting into the politics. They're seeing that the people they put in office, this is what you're getting because they don't give a damn about you. They don't give a damn about anybody. What, it doesn't matter what color you are. They don't care. It shows.
to tell you the best. Uh, that's true. That's true. Immigration, immigration, immigration. Now, is immigration so important to you? Well, if you let more people in here, it takes down our uh, wages of our jobs, and and our wages go down, and American people's wages go down. And and why, it, why do the wages? Americans got to work. For I'll tell you what, I'm going to skip through a lot of this because it's a lot of the same old questions and, and what he's getting from the Trump side. I'm going to fast forward and you'll see some. I know at the beginning of the video, you saw a lot of the hate spew from the Democrat side. And then she's she's on the, the Trump side, um, I guess, if we want to call it that. The people going into the, the rally here. But... Um, yeah, I'm going to skip through some of this stuff, but the but the point he's trying to make here for eight bucks an hour. California, Gavin, nuisance. Gavin nuisance wants to raise the minimum wage to twenty dollars an hour. Now we all know they've done a lot of businesses have already left. We know Elon Musk is packing up and leaving. The straw that broke the camel's back was the was the the, the school policy. The teachers don't have to tell the parents that their kid, if they got a boy or a girl, their kids start saying he wants to be somebody else. And why would their kids say that? Who's who's putting these thoughts in their head that they can be somebody something else? It's okay to say you can be anything you want to be as far as I want to be an astronaut when I grow up or I, I want to be a doctor or a nurse. No. They got some dumbass shit saying you want to be a cat, a dog, identify as some other kind of a being? What? How would they even get this information in their little minds full of mush if it weren't for the school's propaganda machine telling them this? Why would a sixth grade, not a sixth, maybe let, let's take let's take a kindergartner or a first or second grader. How the hell would they even be thinking this shit? What what is a little kid thinking of? I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got a good lunch, I'm gonna play with my friends. I'm gonna get to go on the playground and play. They're not thinking about freaking wanting to be another gender. How would they get this in their mind? Is the teacher and them talking about it? And that, and then they go, and the kid was like, well, maybe, maybe I want to be a girl if it's a boy. And then if he says that, and then they don't have to tell the, the, the parent. I'll tell you what, parents, you need to really get involved. Go sit in the classrooms. Go, be vigilant. What are they teaching your kids? Or pull them out of public school. Pull them out or try to get your states, local governments to vote for a voucher or they give you a voucher. Whatever it is, 12, 13,000 a year per student is what generally the public schools get per kid. And you take that voucher and you go put it in, put it, put your kid in the school that you want your kid to go to. They might, the school system, the public school system might just knock it off because you now, now you have competition because parents don't want, they want their kids to learn how to read and write, arithmetic, history, correct history, not some made up bullshit or with some, with some propaganda twist on it. It's, it just annoys me to no end. So he's going to keep doing that. Uh, and she found a few black people. I'm going to put the link in the description and let you guys see. Now, I think through here, look at this. Uh, what's a good one? I, I did skim through some of this. Let's see. He's going to talk to her. His this, face. This lady. And his shoulders were getting more and more relaxed. He actually seemed to be enjoying himself. He was being met with love and welcoming arms, so it was kind of hard for him not to. See, had you been talking to me and you were another black man, guess what? I grab your hand, take you, your wife, your kids, and your granddad, and everybody here. They thought black, white don't mean shit. Why do you guys support Trump? Why do I? Yeah. Because he's for abortion. What do you 
think about how Planned Parenthood targets African American communities with their abortion clinics? I swear to God, I, I feel I'm so sorry that they have court. that they think that they have to put them in that neighborhood when they should be helping those women instead of putting them in neighborhoods like that. It's bad. Planned Parenthood targets African American communities because Margaret Sanger was a vehement racist. Exactly. She was. Facts, baby. Facts. Yes. That's right. And most of these people here are all pro-choice. They would they would prefer abortion be banned. And Planned Parenthood targets the black communities. Oh, yeah. It's so well, we all know now Trump, uh, when he was in office, he did change it. And he put it. Cause then, then the propaganda spin wheel was like, oh, he's trying to take away abortion. Don't, don't take away our ability to murder. It just uh, it drives me crazy. He put it in the back of the hands of the states. So each state can vote. The people of that state can vote whether they want to kill their children. Now, I am, I don't like what Trump said though. I, okay. I don't like that he said now he said now he says this okay he says well i'm for the welfare of the mother incest and rape what is the percentage of that actually happening it's so it's so minute so if you're taking the whole population of the united states it's so minute that these things have happened. We know it happens. But it's so minute to just do a blanket across the board to say anybody can have an abortion just because there's no consequences for their actions. There's consequences for having sex. Pregnancy is one of them. Especially if it's out of wedlock or it's young people, teenagers doing this. So what do they have to fall back on? Well, I'm okay. I could take the pill and, and then they can abort their baby the next day or they can go get an abortion because there's no consequences. It's disturbing. How can God bless us? People. People. How can God bless us? How is God going to bless a nation that kills their children? I'm upset about it. It's wrong. I don't want to hear the bullshit. It's my body. I can do what the hell I want with it. Well, apparently it's not your body if another living vessel is growing inside you. There's consequences for sex acts. Whether it's going to be HIV, or whether it's going to be some kind of venereal disease that don't go away. There's consequences. There's no stigma. There's no shame. Where's the shame? Where's the teaching of abstinence? Where's moral? Whether you're a Christian or not, there's still moral values to have for your fellow man, for your body. So sad for you. And, I, I, and so, do you think, do you think uh, Donald Trump targets the black community in any way? I hope he targets you guys to make you better. Although Marco seemed happier at this point, I felt like there was still something in him holding back. Something in him that was unwilling to let go of the lie that the mainstream media has perpetuated about Trump supporters being racist, bigoted, hateful people. So She forgot to add sexist and homophobic. Marcos continued to try to instigate Trump supporters to see if he could get a negative response from them that would validate the mainstream media's lies. Do you have a lot of money? No. He don't have a Trump nothing on either. Right. But he's here. I am the last person that will go through those doors. Good for you. I hope you are. 
You don't have to be. Get in. Good for you. I really just got confirmation that he's a half an hour. He's a half an hour to 45 minutes late. Okay. Okay, so we're going to uh, hop over. Uh, Y'all, I encourage you to go and watch it without any commentary. Um, he has an um, he bumps into this this uh, this woman here. She's pretty good too. She she's good, but this video is getting long. Um, but we're gonna jump over to where now they're going to the they're going to the other side. <laughs> They're going to the dark side. So Marcos wanted to try the opposite now. We are going to do the opposite. He went into the Trump rally with me, and now I'm gonna go over with the demonstrators with him, and he's gonna follow me around and see if I get treated with love and tolerance. Let's go see. Okay, so we're also gonna bring a Trump supporter with us to see He's going to come with us. Yeah, That's a Trump a supporter. Okay. Yeah, this uh this is crazy. Okay. All right, come on. Let's go over here. I really hope Trump supporters become a little more educated in their do you, lives. Do you think that your message is going to resonate with Trump supporters? Hopefully. Actually, I agree with her. Everyone should be educated. Don't take anybody's word for it at face value. Go and do your own homework. On both sides. Listen to both sides. That's what you should do. You should think for yourself. And that's something that schools and teachers should teach children. got a project well I want you to think for yourself how are you gonna figure this problem out or build this little or maybe they have some popsicle sticks and they're gonna build a house give them the popsicle sticks let them let them figure it out let their brain let them juices flow they need to think for themselves they don't need to be indoctrinated You know, what do they say? My grandma always said, say it enough times for it to stick, right? They blew smoke in my face. The guy just blew a cigarette in my face. I blew a cigarette in my face. Oh man, oh man, look, let's, let's see if we get him Time's again. Time's for it to stick, right? They blew smoke in my face. The guy just blew a cigarette in my face. <laughs> oh man. They're thinking in their mind. And, and given that stare, I don't even have to speak. My eyes to say everything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I blew a cigarette in my face. I'm trying to figure out what are they chanting. Uh, let me know in the comments because I, I can't figure it out. Is it close the camps? What the hell is that? It is, it is. What the hell close what camps? Is, is there something I'm missing here? Do I need to Google this? Who the hell has camps? What camps are they talking about? Close the camps! 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 Close the cam
place too. <laughs> Damn. You know, those bullhorns are loud and annoying. And they got that shit right in their face. Right in their ear. That's just rude. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter if you have a different point of view. It's no excuse for being rude and obnoxious and an asshole. Just saying. a liberal training school liberal training college school on learning how to be a community agitator <laughs> get in their face be annoying blow smoke in their face don't worry about bringing up policies no, for, forget all that. That's all bullshit. Nobody cares about the policies. We only care about uh, identity of politics, woke politics, and we're just going to just repeat a slogan over and over and over again. We're going to say enough dumbass shit to see what sticks. They have they have uh, seminars. That's it. Not 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 a school, but they got they got uh, left wing propaganda community agitator seminars, <laughs> and it's online, so they can get more people on there and tell them how to be a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that creepy guy was following them. The, the the guy with the cigarette, and then they had the, the tall guy with him. They, they were following her. Hey, no fear. Refugees are welcome here. No hate. No fear. Refugees are welcome here. No hate. Refugees are welcome here. It's another propaganda word speak. crossing the border illegally by the hundreds of millions. You, you see why people Refugees on this side don't even bother no trying to talk no with fear. people over here sometimes because, because it's loud and you can't. You can't. They drown you out with yelling. You're shutting down discussion. You're shutting down discussion. <laughs> You're shutting down discussion. Well, because that's what they learned in the seminar. It's don't discuss policies or facts. Dance around it, distract, ignore, always change the subject. Man, it's brilliant. So I can't get them to answer like a real question. Conspiracy theory channel, and it's not accurate. You guys create delusions in your mind, and then because you guys yeah. are all ignorant, you guys just eat them up like little mice in cages. Black However, people have gotten not... bad information ever since We've 1619. Black people. Oh, he just got you down. No, no, you're, you're wrong. I'm with myself. Why your network is being sued? Boy, he's stuck on that 1619. Can, I, can you please tell me why you are, your network is being sued by the parents of Don't Kill. touch me. I won't touch you, but you stop interfering in our protest. I'm not interfering. You're a traitor you and a treasonous. You're a Russian you're agent. You're a Russian agent. <laughs> She's a Russian agent. Oh, man. Ah, damn. Man, you're a Russian agent. You just got poked in the eye by your flag. I did not. Trying to get I know you wouldn't mean to. You can never come to a black man and explain to a black man about Black Lives you. Matter and things of that you. I'm matter. You that I Let me tell you something. I'm telling you no. that I support you and have what, what, you. 
I think I think that it, conservatives, all of us, we need to do away with the slogan "Black Lives Matter." And I think the people who came up with it knew exactly what they were doing. It's to split us up, make us divisive. It's, it's not healthy. It's not good. It should be any lives matter. All lives matter. Nobody's more special than anybody else. And that, I'll tell you what, the liberals have done a brilliant job. And we have done, well, the conservatives rather, have done a terrible job of getting the message across. People can't support us due to the fact that you continue to enjoy what you know to be white privilege. How do you stop us from enjoying How do we become black? How do we Oh my God. <sighs> damn, I want me some of that white privilege. Because, <laughs> damn, I'm struggling to buy groceries. I don't know about y'all. Man, <laughs> it's it's terrible. I, I don't know. I, th I think some people are born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Should I be jealous of them? No. Some people are just born in a wealthy family. You know, that's just the way it is. I certainly wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. <laughs> I want to know where my white privilege is. Somebody tell me. You don't become black. You well, you, you, you give us our shit back. back. You give us and our people our shit back. Well, that's why you need Eric Jones. You, your, your people, your people, people, people keep on. Matters. Your people, I your people. Your people keep on building on our shit. See what I'm saying? Hey, don't get on my ear, Bob. Oh, wow. Hey, hey. This just continues on. Uh, it's the same old stuff. Um... Guys, matter so you can prove you your point and why you're doing this. You know you're proving to me that you're not worth my time because you're ignorant. I'm pretty sure y'all equal. I'm pretty sure you can walk into a store and be in front of me in line and you get served first. Am I right? And if I go up to you and go, hey, this guy's black, get the fuck out of line. Please. Have you no. ever had that happen to you? Nope. What are you? In no fucking line. About? I get harassed and treated like shit. What? I've never did anything to anybody. Never been in trouble ever in my I'm life. Right but now. just because I'm black and I got tattoos and I'm like just because I got dreads and I'm black, now, they assume that I got. Got drugs. They assume that I got this and you I got that, that on me. Over there. They treat me like they, shit. They assume anything they be over here right now. Because you're not a black guy. They assume they they be over here. What do most people see when the when there's video footage of riots, them smashing stores? What is it the percentage of? You tell me. Who's killing who and what cities? What are the worst cities in America to live at? Who's running the cities? What's the population? There you go. I just gave you a list to go do some homework. And this should answer all of this, this, this question right here that this young man, this young man right here is wondering why Just go look all that up. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. All of us are not victims. We make ourselves victims. Because you never roll around. Wait, you never roll around just a black guy. On a normal, regular day. I get treated like that. Treated like shit for nothing. I've never did shit to nobody. I understand. Now, he just made a blanket statement that he gets treated like shit. Well, who treated him like shit and when and what was the situation? Were you at a grocery store? Were you in line? Were you at the bank? Um, were you at work? Was it a co-worker? Did somebody yell crap at you in road rage down the road? What was your... What's your story? Why just don't make a blanket statement saying I, I just look like this? I got tattoos and, and I'm I'm getting treated like shit. Well, take get me a an instant. How are you being treated like shit? Who did it? Who treated you like crap? I don't even know if I buy what he's saying. He's just saying. Hey, 
because it's, our lives matter and it's a problem. It is a, it, all lives do matter. Problem. You guys think you're excluded. Well, literally, you're excluding your fucking selves from the rest of it. Not excluding. That's not what it's about. It's about saying enough is enough. That's all it is. You don't know because you don't pr participate in it. So if we say, black li yes, black lives matter, would that change anything for you? Yes. Okay, Black Lives Matter. Acknowledge it and, and do something to fight okay. injustices. But can you also acknowledge that all lives also yeah, matter? We say that anyway. Black, all lives do matter. But that's not the point of the movement. The way the movement started was because too many people were being murdered. That is why the movement This is another problem I have. Yeah, there were situations where white officers killed a black kid or a black person. Go Google the stats on that. Just go go look it up. Go get that information for yourself. But she's not bringing up the damage that's done by other blacks on blacks. But it's a problem. When it's a white officer killed a black, what it, it should be a problem. Don't misunderstand. I'm just saying why the outrage with, with a handful of instances when statistics are showing that there's black officers killing black people, killing white people, or white officers killing white officers. We know the media grabs something and makes it, well, this, this, this is what we're going to push and promote to stir that pot. But why, why aren't the black community, why aren't the blacks, and even the whites too, come on. Why are these communities, these black-on-black -black crime, shooting each other over drugs or good Lord knows why they're doing this? But I didn't make this up. Again, Chicago, all these other cities, Boston, all these other cities who have this problem. I don't, why is she not outraged about that? We need to stop. We need better education in these communities. Where's all the money from the lottery? Now, you know, here in Tennessee, I'm in Tennessee. Like I told you, I used to work in uh, the convention centers and stuff and do banquets. So I was at a convention. I'm working the head table. I'm the waiter at the head table. There was a senator guy, or I don't know what he was. I, I forgot his name, but this was years ago, 25, 30 years ago. He said to me, because they were trying to push the lottery in Tennessee to make it legal. <clears throat> so he asked me what I thought about it, and I said, sir, it's inappropriate for me to talk about politics. You know, I'm here to serve you. He said, no, 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 I insist. I, You know, he's like, I insist. I need to know your answer. What do you think about the lottery becoming legalized in the state of Tennessee? And I said it shouldn't become legal. And he just looked at me like his, his eyes just got like this big. He said, why? I said, because it's just going to make poor people more poor. They're on a hope and a whim and a gamble. They're going to go spend their, their money that should be buying groceries and paying the, the power bill and the water bill. They're going to go and gamble with it. That's what I told him. That's what I said. And I meant it. I thought about it. They're going to have scratchers, a big lottery, and it's just not Tennessee. You've got Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky. So when, when it gets up to like 200 million, you're competing with like five states. When you go buy a whole bunch of tickets, you probably have a better chance getting hit by lightning. Then you've got the, the scratchers. I just thought it's bad. I didn't think it was a good idea. And she, well, lo and behold, that shit became legal. That shit become legal. So you can go buy scratchers at the grocery store. All the, you go to your little convenience stores. It's right in your face. When you walk up to buy your little soda pop and bag of chips, there's this big box with scratchers on it. Gamble, 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 gamble. I thought it was a bad idea. I thought it was just a bad idea. It makes poor people more poor. But all lives matter. Sorry. I think what happened was because it took such an anti-cop perspective and the blue lives, it pitted blue lives versus black lives. And people think that by endorsing Black Lives Matter, they're actually saying they don't care about the blue lives, the police lives. That's not, I mean, 
Technically, there's no such thing as a blue live. Police officers. Okay. So, police officers matter too. That's not the point. The point is we need to listen to the folks that are struggling and they're being oppressed and that are incarcerated at higher fire rates than white people. That's I will say black lives matter and blue lives matter and Asian lives matter and white lives matter and brown lives matter and every color of human being lives matter. And I would say a lot of Trump supporters and conservatives are actually advocating for the black lives even that are in the womb that are being targeted by Planned Parenthood. She was a VMA. That was a good that was a good point she made to them. And racist there are racist yes, Margaret Sanger was a racist. Yes. That is not the point. Margaret Sanger is complimented as Planned Parenthood's greatest hero on their website. <laughs> Damn. The greatest hero ever. But many people don't know the dark intentions behind Margaret Sanger and the creation of Planned Parenthood. She advocated a stern and rigid policy of sterilization and segregation. She was quoted as saying, we do not want word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. Despite knowing Sanger's past, Hillary Clinton accepted Planned Parenthood's Margaret Sanger Award in 2000. Of course she did. It's almost like they want, they want everyone to kill their children. It's demonic. It's literally demonic, people. How is God going to bless us if we're, we're allowing this? I don't agree with Trump. None of them have the balls to get up and say, even Jesus said in the Bible, he said, I'd rather you be hot or cold. You can't be lukewarm. You can't be lukewarm. There's right and wrong. There's no gray area. Either you kill it or you don't kill. They're afraid they're not going to. He, he said it. Trump said it. Well, I have to get elected. I have to get elected first. So I'm going with what Reagan said. And those are the three. Incest, health of the mother, and, and uh, rape. Probably if a woman... If she was gonna die, she'd say, "Don't kill my baby. You keep me on that. You keep me on that machine. You let my baby live." Painful. We can't be blessed by God in our nation if we're just doing these awful, awful things. 2009. In 2014, 36% of all abortions were performed on black women who are just 13% of the female population. Damn. Could this be because abortion clinics are targeting black neighborhoods? I've never been targeted by Planned Parenthood. No, they put their businesses in the black communities. They put their business in lower impoverished communities to help people who aren't able to pay for their proper health care. I've gone to Planned Parenthood multiple times just for myself. Just for proper health checks and whatnot. So they offered the option of killing your baby, but they don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't offer you the option of helping you with maternity care. If you tell them they will. They won't. I've called them and asked them. I have two kids. That's because you're an infowars. They don't give a fuck about you. So no, I'm it's not. Tell you it's not anything. They don't know. Yes, they do. They do not offer maternity care. Pregnancy centers. They know way more than. That's mortifying. That is mortifying. The Christian pregnancy centers will help you. We're here at this protest outside the Trump rally in Cincinnati. We're trying to have discourse and conversate, but it's been very hard to have a conversation out here with you. Stand wherever the fuck I want, little fucking Nazi bitch. Wow. This is what we get from the liberals out here. Love and tolerance. I hope the message that this shows is that we can have unity if the truth is revealed to us. 
that it's going to take some courage and bravery to walk to the other side to hear other people's perspectives so that you can really truly see for yourself what is happening in the country right now. Unbelievable. If you guys want to help me so I can continue to show you footage like this, but then also show you footage inside the Trump rallies, please support me directly on... Let's, um... Let's give her a like, and I'm going to give her a sub. Uh, this was four years ago. She did a really good job. I mean, there was some creepy guy. That creep, that one other creepy guy must have followed her back, kept saying he wanted to grab her privates, and then that other creepy guy. So um, I hope uh, whoever was running the camera was a, was a big guy to help protect her. I'm sure she wouldn't have just walked around there without, because, damn. That was, uh, she did a really good job on that. That was amazing. But anyway, y'all go give her a like. Check her out. Check out her channel. Um, man, this video is long. Wow. Nothing's changed. It's the same crap. It's been four years. Have we gotten better as a nation as far as race relations? Morgan Freeman said, stop having the conversation. Stop talking about it. Let's move on. Stop killing our kids. Shut down the border. Guys, get out and vote. Go do your own research and think for yourself. And have a blessed day. Thank you.